are not waiting another three years for that hospital to be built. There is nothing practical that has been said as to just how are we going to restore a dependable and sustainable electricity distribution in South Africa. It is a failed developmental state model that is not going to take us forward. It was a budget of balance. Gorongwana tried to avoid a fiscal crisis while protecting the poor and vulnerable while also trying to strengthen the economy. Public finances are under immense pressure. The government is not generating enough money from taxes. The economy is weak and businesses are not generating profits to be able to pay higher taxes to the government and the government's tax revenue is expected to be 56.8 billion rand short of what was anticipated back in February. So the government has less money to spend in running the country. The government has been forced to cut its spending on service delivery because there is less money in the kitty. Over the next six months, the government will cut its spending by 21 billion rand. In most cases, there will be budget cuts because government departments are not spending the monies that they have been allocated. There will be cuts in the budgets of higher education, health and housing. The subsidies were cut 100%. To tell our head office subsidy were, were cut by 53% and our family care offices of which is eight, seven of them were cut with 61% and one family care office didn't receive any funding at all. The government wants to raise 15 billion rand by implementing additional taxes in 2024. What tax or taxes the government wants to raise is not yet known. It is anyone's guess at this point. The biggest problem we have with this budget is that it continues to place the state at the center of our economy. 350 rand a month social grant comes to an end by March next year. Since it was first introduced, many social groups have been calling for the 350 grant to remain in place permanently. But the government will extend the grant for another year. It will cost the government 34 billion rand to fund the grant for another year. About 8.5 million people now depend on the grant. There are no new taxpayer funded bailouts to state owned enterprises. No new money was given to Eskim, Transnet, Denal, the Land Bank and the South African National Roads Agency. However, state owned transport group Transnet has asked the government for an immediate bailout of 3.4 billion rand to fix its rail and logistics operations. The government is still in discussions with Transnet and that is the budget in a nutshell. Please subscribe to Daily Mavericks YouTube page.